welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new I would love for you to stick around today's video is going to be about all the products that I personally use to keep my blonde hair healthy brass free um, and kind of just like maintain the blonde tone and health of my hair uh, first let me just say that I am like no hair guru at all this video is not sponsored by any of these brands or anything like that these are just the products that I have found to work really really well for me um, so yeah back to me not being a hair guru I literally like wear my hair in the same two styles um, I'm not great with it I'm not great with styling I'm not great with like anything but I have tried to educate myself as best as possible on products and what works well to keep your hair healthy and feeling good and all of that kind of stuff and the color that I want it to be like maintained um so I started the process of going blonde back in February and I actually have a video of like that process like I took the vlog camera with me and um I'll leave it down below in case you guys haven't seen it but basically like I asked for a balayage with a root melt and a money piece and she got me as blonde as she could the first time by the way I go to Luscious & Co hair salon in Shelton Connecticut hands down the best hair salon that I have ever been to they are every single stylist in there is just like gifted like so gifted um, my stylist name is Amber I will leave the salon and my stylist information down in the description box as well in case any of you are looking for a salon and you're in the area Okay, the light just changed on me, so we're working with the natural light, and it is later in the evening. It's like 5 30, 6 o'clock now, so bear with me there. But so, yeah, I am not like a hair guru. I just, I know what works well for me, and I have seen the change in my hair from damaged and kind of just like dry and very fine and fragile to what my hair is now which my hair is still fine um that's just my natural texture and i also have hair extensions which i will talk about in a minute but um my hair texture is has always been fine i've always had like more of like an oily scalp so that's just like my type of hair it's just fine um, and because it's fine, it's kind of fragile, it breaks often, it doesn't really get long because I feel like once it gets to like a certain length, it breaks off. Um, and so like I was very nervous to go blonde because obviously like when you add bleach and lightener to your hair and toner and things like that, like it can be pretty harsh on your hair. So that being said, I put my full trust into Amber's hands and she did not do me wrong. My hair is still very, very healthy. I don't have much breakage. Um, and these products are what helped me kind of achieve that. Um, a lot of them are, well, I guess I'll just jump right in and stop talking. I have literally like so many different things in front of me. I will say, um, I'm somebody who I love to try hair products, but if I don't see a difference, like a lot of products are like, oh, it's a volume burst or, oh, it's like a, a texture tousled like spray or wave spray or whatever the case may be and if I don't see that like I kind of give up on the product immediately because I just don't have the patience so all these products that I'm going to show you literally work for me um, and you can kind of feel and see a difference within the first time using them so I will start off with shampoos um, shampoos and conditioners are something that I never really put much thought into I kind of just was like oh let me get my Pantene or let me get my Tresemme or whatever the case may be swab from the drugstore like whatever's cheapest it doesn't really matter I'm just washing my hair and I had done that for years but when I switched to Joyco um let me just tell you like I could tell a difference from the first shampoo and condition with this one shampoo and this is the Joyco defy damage protective shampoo um it's for bond strengthening and color longevity it is such a good shampoo and conditioner like so 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 good don't mind myself down there <laughs> so 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 good this has got to be my third bottle and I recently discovered this Caitlin who's one of my best friends introduced me to this shampoo I want to say I was still living at my old apartment so it was probably like last summer and my hair has never been better when I'm telling you you can feel a difference right off the bat you can truly feel a difference right off the bat so highly recommend this to anybody who honestly anybody anybody with whatever color hair you have whatever texture you have this is a great shampoo it strengthens the bonds in your hair so get the shampoo and conditioner um, amazing shampoo 
So I also have two other products from Joyco, which are actually like color shampoos. I have a purple shampoo and a blue shampoo. I never knew there was such a thing as blue shampoo. I have always just heard about like purple shampoo and canceling the brassiness. So the blue shampoo is good if you have brunette hair that's been lightened. So if you have like a little bit darker hair than mine or like say you're um, you have more of like a, a brown balayage, uh, you're going to want to get a blue shampoo. This will cancel out the brassy and orange tones in the brunette hair. So I have used almost all of this. It's probably like down to here. I love it. It is so good. I also have the conditioner in my shower. So good. And then what I've been using recently since going lighter is the purple one absolutely amazing. I did just also get some products from Fanola, the no yellow shampoo and the hair mask, but I haven't had a chance to try them yet. So I don't want to speak on them because I haven't had a chance to try them. But this, these shampoos are amazing. Um, if you're looking for a good purple shampoo, try this out or blue shampoo, try these out. So good. I have both the shampoos and conditioners and it keeps my hair not brassy. Like I, you guys know, this is my natural color on top. So it's pretty dark. Um, so to get this light and not really have much brassiness is a blessing. <laughs> um, so I use my purple shampoo, probably every other shampoo in the shower. Um, I'll switch between my Defy Damage, the purple shampoo, and also the e. Sebastian Drench Moisturizing Shampoo. This is also really great if you have dry hair, if you've lightened your hair, if you have extensions, something that just needs a little bit more moisture. I don't use this all the time because again, my hair is on the oilier side, but I like to switch different shampoos in. So these three are kind of in my rotation. Again, the blue was better when I was darker, but I will like rotate in the drench, the purple shampoo and the Defy Damage all throughout the week. One thing I have learned is that your hair does get used to shampoos and conditioners. So it's best if you do have like more than one shampoo in your shower, just to switch it out, give your hair like a little bit of break. This one is really good. If you're looking for a good moisturizing shampoo, you will not be disappointed with the Sebastian Drench shampoo and conditioner. So good. Now, like I mentioned before, I do have extensions. So I have a mixture of hand tied weft hair extensions and tape ins. Um, I have three rows of hand tied wefts. And then I went on Amazon and just bought like a pack of blonde um, tape in extensions and just added a little bit more like around my face because I love a lot of hair. But um, that being said, like extensions can get dry. And I have been using the same extensions since February. So in February, I bought two different colors. Um, of extensions. If you can see on the bottom, this one is a little bit darker. There's more of like that low light in it, which is what I had like the first time I lightened my hair. We used the majority of this color and then this lighter blonde is now kind of like what I have more of, but I still like like the mixture of tones. So the hair extensions that I use and have fallen in love with are the Jay-Z Styles hair extensions. Jake Lee George on Instagram, she's on YouTube as well. She recommended the Jay-Z Styles extensions to me and like, thank you because they are so good. Again, I've used these hair, this hair consistently since February and it's still in great condition. Um, so I will leave that information in the description bar down below. And of course I'll leave every single product that I mentioned in the description box too. But um, since I do have extensions, obviously they don't produce their own natural oils. So you do want to add some moisture back into your extensions kind of often. I do this once a week. Um, this is the Joyco Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. Uh, it looks like this. If you have really dry hair, it's also great if you bleach your hair, but it's just, it's super moisturizing. It's very, very thick. Like it almost comes out like a lotion, like a cream. Like it's very, very, very thick. Um, so it just gives your hair that moisture that it needs. It's kind of like a little mask. It's a treatment. So you just want to put it in after you shampoo and condition and then rinse it out. And I love this. I've used this multiple times. I'm about halfway through really good purchase if you have extensions or just dry hair in general or just like a little treat for your hair. It's really good. All right. Speaking about treatments, um, Olaplex is something that I hands down will recommend to everybody, especially people who lighten their hair. Um, I love the number three. As you can see, I'm like almost out of it. 
This is more of the treatment. <laughs> Lola just fell off her chair. She's fine. This is more of the treatment. So you want to wet your hair, put this in, leave it in for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you can leave it in as long as you want. It says leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired. Sometimes I'll sleep in this and then rinse it out in the morning. It's just really, really great at repairing and strengthening the bonds in your hair. So if you do lighten your hair, there can be some damage from the bleach. You put this on like once a week. For me, you can do it up to three times a week, I believe, and you will definitely see a difference. It is amazing. To go along with that, I use this every time I come out of the shower. I'm about halfway through with this one as well. This is Olaplex number six. It's also very good. It is a leave-in reparative conditioner. So it does the same thing. It reduces frizz, nourishes, conditions, that kind of thing, while also repairing and strengthening the bonds at the same time. I use this in my extensions. I use this on my hair. I freaking live for it. Like Olaplex has changed my hair. I also, this is my second bottle of this product. This is, ooh, there's a hair stuck in there. This is the Olaplex number seven bonding oil. This is really great too because it is heat resistant. Um, so I like to put this on my hair as well. I like to make a little concoction when I have wet hair. I'll put number six, number seven in my hair and then some other products that I'll show as well. But it's really great. You can also use it as like a finishing oil. Really good. Um, something that you can find at the drugstore. I have a few products. So the first one kind of on that same like leave-in conditioner vibe is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In with Mafura and Baboa, no, with Mafura and Baobab oils. Really good. I've used a lot of this as well. Really, really conditioning. Does great things for your hair. I also have the mask here. Um, I can't get it out. Okay. <laughs> but it's the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I have that as well. I really like the brand Shea Moisture. If you are going to go drugstore brand, I really do like this brand at the drugstore. Really great. Going again with that same kind of vibe, I have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. So I use the light because, again, I have fine hair. It gets oily really quickly, so this is just a little bit lighter in texture. Um, and it does the same thing. It kind of... It's a leave-in conditioner. It enhances the body. It gives you a little bit of heat protection. Just gives you a little bit more of like moisture to your ends, that kind of thing. I really recommend a leave-in conditioner, especially if you have extensions or thick hair. Really, really great. Now, if I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I always use some kind of blow dry spray, and this is the one that I've been loving. It is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. So it's a heat protectant. It also reduces your blow dry time. It says up to 50%. Um, I just shake it, spray it in my hair, blow it out, and I love it. It smells amazing. It feels really hydrating and moisturizing, and I like the fact that it is protecting my hair from heat damage. Okay, we only have a couple more products to talk about. I feel like I am, like, spewing things out at you, but, like, I, again, I'm someone who is not great with hair, and these products have truly changed my life and my hair, hair health and life. <laughs> Um, all right, as far as products, like once my hair is dry, I love this dry shampoo. Now this is a drugstore brand as well. This is the Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. I love this. I am almost all the way out of it. It is so, so, so good for my hair. I have tried so many different dry shampoos. I have so many over there right now. I have Batiste, I have Garnier Fructis, I have, what is this? Kenra. I have so many different dry shampoos. I have Amika. So many different dry shampoos. This one I love. I reach for this one every single time. I have a travel size that I keep in my travel bag. I love it. If you haven't tried this dry shampoo yet, please try it. It is so good. Love it. From that same brand, Eva NYC, I have the City Grit Matte Texture Spray. I also like this, but I find it a little bit drying. Um, but it is a matte texture spray, so you are gonna feel a little bit of that dryness. It does do a really, really great job at giving you that like tousled, like sexy bedhead kind of look while still being pretty affordable. Um, on the higher end, I have the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray, Texture Defining Spray. I love this as well. This one's almost empty. It's really, really good at, again, giving you that like sexy bedhead, 
just like undone kind of vibe that I love because again I'm not really great at hair so like if it can look undone it's probably for me and then the last thing that I do have is a finishing spray this is the bio silk silk therapy shine on spray it gives your hair a beautiful sheen it feels really really moisturizing I also love the bio silk oil it's actually in my bedroom because um before bed sometimes I'll just put a little bit of the bio silk oil in my hands and rub it through the ends of my hair and then wrap my hair up and go to bed um but this is a really really nice like finishing spray if you want shiny hair it works really nice if you have dark hair blonde hair it just works really great at giving you that shine um let me see i can spray some now it's like instant shine i don't know if that's gonna show up but <laughs> it's like instant shine it just looks really really great it smells great great product love that Okay, but that's all I have for you today. I feel like I talked really, really fast because I had a lot to get out to you guys. And I'm very, very like passionate about these products because they have changed my hair so much. And they have helped keep me, they have helped me like keep my hair really healthy while going lighter. So I love these products, recommend them hands down. Love, love, love. Um, if you guys have any products that you absolutely love, leave them in the comment section down below because I love trying new things when it comes to beauty, hair, makeup, anything. Leave them down below. But that's all I have, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you have anything that I need to have. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.